Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good night, or wherever it is you are, whatever time of day it is, I wish you a good one. We are playing After the Storm, Episode 3, Final, and we're going to play it on normal difficulty. Warning. I think uh, everyone who's been watching me so far knows what this warning says. If not, you can pause the video and read it. Basically, yeah, this we're picking up in the middle of a campaign here, so unless you've seen the campaigns that this builds on, don't watch these videos. My lady, you have finally returned. I was concerned for you since you left without notice. What do you have there? The Ruby of Fire! You retrieved it, my lady! Was the fairy elf already dead? Or did you kill her yourself? She destroyed Hecuba for us first, in the Elves Valley. Naturally, she paid the price. Hmm, nice half-truth there, Elissa. So, they destroyed each other? Excellent news! So, what are we going to do now? <laughs> I can't keep Malkendria's voice from going German. It's supposed to be more Slavic, but uh, sorry about the bad voice acting. Where is Narhamoth? I believe he's busy battling the Allied forces remaining near the Bay of Glamdral. Should you require his immediate presence here with us, I can summon him. That shall not be necessary. Not anymore. As Elissa whispers an incantation never heard by Malkendria before, the staff she holds changes its shape into a four-bladed weapon with the glowing unshielded ruby at its very end. The necromancer stares in awe. That's amazing! But the feeling promptly vanishes as Alyssa's eyes turn blood red. An eerie aura engulfs both former allies as the demoness advances towards the necromancer, now petrified with dread. Bind the soul to stone. Turn the memories to dust. My lady! Erase the spirit and shed the hollow shell. Alyssa, I feel unwell. Goodbye, Kendall Yare. And uh, we get a lovely uh, scene of Elissa seemingly binding the soul of Malkendria for a reason that we cannot currently discern in any way. Why am I still here? Who are you within my body? The promised time has come, Heres. So it has. Darkness. I begin to get used to it again. I spent eons in the darkness beneath the earth, not feeling, not seeing, not thinking. I long to return to that state and let myself fall into the void, unfeeling, uncaring, detached from it all. Even endless sleep would be preferable to what I am left here to face, a reality I cannot amend. Erdia is now in jeopardy due to the machinations of terrible forces I cannot possibly control or confront. Not anymore. I thought I could save Ertia from impending doom this time, but I failed. I failed utterly, just like I did before and again. All I have accomplished with my recklessness so far has been accelerating the process of our destruction. Perhaps my curse was more than the pompous last words of a necromancer, after all. 
I lost my friends, my people, my home, my love. One of us shall fall, the other shall live together. The other shall live forever, he said before our second and last battle. Ah, God, I'm really screwing this up today, sorry. He said before our second and last battle. Of course, my memory has grown rusty after so long, but I think I never fully realized the implications of his words. You shall witness the eventual decay and death of everything you have or shall come to love. You shall regret your actions, and you shall either be forced to end your own life or live in perpetual suffering. That is the price for my defeat. Somehow the choice seems trivial now, and if the fate of Erdia states so, someone more competent will take my place and bring them to victory. And then, I'll be remembered as a coward. A coward who deserted her friends because she could not bear causing them war harm. It is not too late. No, it is pointless. Your journey has just begun. Your destiny is afoot. You cannot give up now. But we have already lost. It's over. As long as you live, you can learn from your mistakes, help your friends, and more importantly, help Ertia. Oh. Your eye is the most powerful guardian, but not the only one. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Elinia? Two days had passed since our bittersweet victory in the valley. Balhutyaba and his creations were gone and the blast was mostly absorbed into the collapsing portal. For a moment, I had hoped none of what happened was more than just a bad dream, a nightmare. It could not have been more real. Anya and Durvan found me after an entire day of searching the nearby hills. I had been badly injured by the fight with the Lich, and my staff was gone. Elissa's appearance after my narrow escape was most certainly not a dream. Eloran was right in his assessment of the situation. We should have destroyed the ruby before embarking upon this pointless quest. This has all been my fault. Even before Uriah censured her attention on Erdia, I had the opportunity to avoid all this. Many of our men simply did not survive the underground struggle. Anya exhausted herself, teleporting as many of them back to a safe location as she could within that minuscule window of time. Naturally, that wasn't enough to save them all. The girl remains as optimistic as usual, in spite of the grim circumstances. I don't think I can understand how she manages to do this after all we've been through together. She suggested that we return north to rejoin Eloran and decide our next move. I know I need to recover Argan's journal more than anything. The information contained within it is most likely vital. Malin has not spoken a word about it yet, however, so at best we can hope that Eloran's many informants throughout Uriah's domain and even Ertia have gathered enough intelligence on Uriah and Elissa's plans by now. Anya can easily determine Eloran and Tara's current location with her necklace. When she last communicated with them, they were seeking a place to hide in the Falrore region, not too far east from Ralthin. That's most likely where we are going now. Episode 3, Scenario 1, Beyond Her Smile, A Light in the Darkness. My lady, since you are returning to the far north, we thought we should let you know you can count on our help. Should you need fighters or a healer? I appreciate your offer and you can come with us if you wish. 
These three loyal elves, Elclea, Nalan, and Krendel, will be available for you to recall from now on. Well, a healer's nice to have. The other two of you, probably useless, but who knows? Given that I get you at the start of the campaign, maybe I can level one of you into a marshal and have some leadership. And looks like we've got Durvan, and he's looking just as tanky as he was when I left him. In fact, all my heroes have the same stats as when I left them in the last campaign. Alinea, I'm not sure leaving most of our men behind is actually a good idea. I prefer that they stay here to investigate the ruins for us and assist the elves should the Empire send more troops back here. Anya can teleport them back to us later, if necessary. We don't have much time, and we have already tarried here for too long because of my incompetence. Don't say such things. It's not your fault. Teleportation is a very complicated and dangerous skill to learn for those who weren't born with the ability. If you say so, girl. I suppose it's not my place to argue with a creature of the darkness. Let's return. Very well. Where are we? Where is everyone? While Anya and Durvan contemplate their surroundings, Elinia picks up a necklace identical to Anya's, covered in blood. This does not bode well. That trail. No! Please tell me they're not... May the Lords of Light have mercy. This is quite the bloody mess. Anya, I... I advise you don't come outside. No! There they are, just like the fist told us they would turn up soon looking for their fallen friends. Would that our pests had lingered around for long enough. But I'm rambling. Let's end this once and for all. Search the settlement for survivors. Gather any living humans from the nearby villages. And try to locate Elorin and Tara's remains. Elenia? What's your plan? We will make the demons pay for this atrocity. That is all I know and care about for the moment. <laughs> right. Our objective is to defeat all enemy leaders. And I'm going to keep Alinea, Anya, and Durvan alive. We have 27 turns, and we have an early finish bonus if we get it. Um, so let's look around. Um, we've got demons, we've got knights of chaos. It's kind of not obvious who's on whose side. The blue units are on my side, I guess. Yeah, okay, so they're the friendly demons. But they're all going to get wasted because, I mean, they're all on super low health, so they're not going to survive long. Up here we've got a demon leader on some fire, but he's only level 2 with some defensive level ones. Down here to the left, we've not got very much. We've got some more demons. We've got uh, Renmark the Marauder. Weirdly has 12 experience. And um, he, I guess, uh, he's level two as well for now. He might level up if he kills some of these nice units around him. Lots of nice free experience. And up here we've got General Ramzal, who's a Chaos Sharpshooter. Very nice unit. New skins for this campaign. Um, he doesn't have that many units for now, but I'm guessing he's going to recruit like a maniac. So let's get going. I can recall my loyal Elvish Druid and two Elvish Fighters. Well, I guess I might as well. You're resilient, so you go out front. Just in case these guys try and attack me. What can I recruit? Okay, it's uh, uh, the kind of random selection of dudes once again. Um, I'm going to go for a few ruffians. Just 
for shielding purposes and so as not to waste my gold too much. Um, Dervan, you can come out here. And... Anya, you come out here. And over here I can recruit two new units and... It looks like it's going to be daytime. Oh no, it's dusk. Alright, I'll get some thugs. What do we need to kill here? Some combat units. Oh, maybe I'll get a poacher as well. It'd be interesting to level a poacher. Not something that's happened very often in this campaign. I've mostly... Um, I only leveled a few fugitives and one highwayman in the last campaign as far as level 3 outlaw units were concerned. Alright. Anya, I'm truly sorry for all this. It all has been my fault. Don't blame yourself. This, we knew it would happen. It would happen sooner or later. I just, I just hoped I'd have a chance to say goodbye to them. They, they took care of me for so long, ever since I was abandoned, as a child. Oh dear. Five misses for Fire Fairy, really? I think these guys are scripted not to hit anything. Yeah, they, they honestly must be, that's crazy. I could never understand. I'd heard stories about your kind, and then I met you and saw you and that elvish lady. And the other elves. You have such a different perception of those who have sent to fairy them. You look upon them with awe and respect. Humans don't share the sentiment with those born from fairy and demon kind like me. They hate us, perhaps out of fear or out of ignorance, or simply because we're not like them. Thirteen years ago, Tara found me in the forest. I was cold, starving and frightened. He brought me to Aloran, and together they raised me since then, all despite the dangers of their mission. The rational option for them should have been to leave me behind so I wouldn't hinder them. And yet... They taught me many things. But most importantly... They taught me to smile. She says as all of the blue units get obliterated. My mission failed. I brought you back, but we don't have the ruby, and Eloran and Tara can't help us anymore. But I'm sure all of this had to happen for a reason, even if it often feels like a cruel and pointless game of life and death. If we are still alive, it must mean something. It must mean our purpose in this game hasn't been fulfilled yet. I will follow you until the end. What else is there for me to do? You are all I have now. Okay then, well, um, scripted death for all the blue units. I have to say, um, probably one of my least favourite things in this campaign is the use of uh, invisible scripted sequences for killing units um, and for, for hitting and missing. I mean, the whole, like, Westernoth is all about the randomness, and when it's just not random, and when you don't know why it's not random, that's infuriating. Yeah, not much else I can say about that. Um, what have we got coming our way? Um, bunch of pretty regular Chaos units. This looks like it might be quite a difficult battle. Um, I'd quite, I quite like an easy one now that I've done all that voice acting so that I don't have to restart. Um, let's come over here. Dervan now, the bow of Chris Velen and uh, 
and the, and the Amber Ward are still on him, which is good. The extra resistances aren't shown. I don't think they ever are. Now... There we go, and that means that doing this that I'm about to do is less risky. Oh, very nice. Okay, you can still get attacked by oh, only by one Zephyr. And you... Shame I can't surround you. In fact, I can't really get many units in on you at all, which is a shame. Okay, I got the slow at least. Got some fun poacher times. And who's going to come around here? Maybe the thug. Could even get the kill if I'm lucky. Not quite. Alright, you go and stand on that castle in case you get any ideas. Then you come out ready to play. Same as you. It's only the short dark, so I can start bringing some sprites out. And sprites are not a very good defensive unit, that's the only problem. Because I'm going to be defending for the first little bit of this campaign, a little bit of this scenario at least, um, I'm going to get some foot pads. Foot pads are hard to hit. Not much gold left. Poacher. We'll get one sprite. Maybe two. Another poacher? Or another thug? Another thug. Alright. Oh, down goes my thug. You might get bonked by that slowed Chaos, Chaos Invader. Okay, they don't have infinite amounts of money. In fact, who knows how much the purple leader has, but... Ah. Oh. We know that black and green are out of money, or at least it looks like it. Uh, where am I going to defend? These these are tempting, but I actually don't think these are very good defensive spots in the grand scheme of things. It just seems too much like I won't be in a straight line. Everyone will get everyone will get nobbled if I do that. So I'm going to defend where these castles, where these villages are. Pretty decent showing there. Very decent showing there from Crandil. Gotta make sure Crandil doesn't die now. We'll need to level my druid sooner or later, so I might as well start now. None of these folks can quite reach that house, which still belongs to the green leader. There's not much other village grabbing I can do in this scenario. Most of these villages are trash, and yeah, you know the chaos forces are pretty stupid. They've they've destroyed all these villages, which they could have used for income. There's a mine here. Usually mines don't do anything in these scenarios. The objective is to kill everyone, right? Yeah, it is. 
course it is. Now you're pretty vulnerable, so I think I'm just going to try and nobble you with Anya before anyone else. Okay, you come up here, get ready to get this village. And we need to form a line that's pretty much unbreakable here. Can you get round? No, no one can get round to the south. In fact, you can reach Durban and Crendel. You can reach quite a few people. But everyone else is still too far away. Apart from maybe no, not even you guys. Horse boys. Okay, I want um I want more poachers to deal with those horse boys. I'm not going to let you go onto that house, that would be a silly move, defending the forest. Okay, let's have some defensive poachers. Two more, and then I'm, run out of, then I'm out of money. Maybe one of them, maybe this legend up here, if he survives, will even be able to level up. Now Alinea can come forward. You go there and heal up Krendil. If I can get into Captain straight away, that would be brilliant. Oh, General Ramsell has something to say. I've been eagerly awaiting the opportunity to behold the Lady of Light's impaled torso, but that won't happen now, for my presence is required in Kalari. But please, go on without me. Just make sure to leave a trophy for me to claim. Oh, that's a shame. I was looking forward to killing that guy. I'm sure I'll get a chance later in the campaign. Why is that green unit going up there? Is there a village to capture or something? Or are the purple going to fight the green? That would be interesting. to be you. Mm hmm Okay, maybe I should use these turrets for defense after all. First things first, we need to get these guys out of our face. Captain! Very nice. Now I think seeing as it's daytime I can take one turn at least of um, running out onto these dubiously placed fortifications with my most powerful units. Um, all you folks up here are too far away so I'm basically facing, facing the, the attack from black which is a bunch of level ones, some of whom are kind of slow anyway. and a few green troops, some of which will be dead after this turn, I suspect. So, okay. Alright, not grand, not grand at all. Mm. 
Yes, got him. All right, got to finish this guy off as well. Again, I can try and use a sprite. Elena does an okay job. You can guard here. Should be that no one is really able to hit you very much. And if anyone hits you, um, Elena, we can put the druid behind you. We could put you here, then you could heal this guy, but that would involve you getting hit a few times yourself. Mind you, you get hit, healed by Elena, so I don't think these guys, I don't think anyone here can one-shot you during the day. Let's just check where this guy can go. Oh, not far, not far. Yeah. Makes my lines a bit more solid. So you can go and grab that, because you can get the healing as well. You folks are all still too slow to contribute to the battle. Uh, come forward. And you poachers can come up behind, get ready to attack next turn. If things go badly, you can cover my rear. So they're going for the weak spots in my line, but uh, not in a very effective way. All that damage will be healed by Alina next turn. Purple starts to trickle his units down. And Purple's run out of money, that's good. Erlinia does some more clouting people to death in melee combat. Currently this is looking pretty decent. I'm not going to back up from this position just yet. So let's just try and uh, bring it in. What is coming? We've got demons. The demons are too slow. We've got this guy. This guy's... Oh, well, they're imps. I don't give a crap about them. Um, we've got some... We've got a horse rider. We've got a few horse riders. Okay, no kill on you. I quite like to get rid of this guy because this guy is uh, close to a level. Probably the best way of doing that is with a linear. Uh, but that didn't work out, so that's bad. So maybe my other sprite with some leadership. Uh, Alright, you just pop down here and you can kill this skirmisher, or try to. Not kill. Uh, someone else can get, can weaken him first. I've got Durvan back here, don't know what he's doing otherwise. Okay, Durvan gets the kill, that's fine. Um, bit of a shame. Send a poacher around here. Then you hop onto here, you go over here, you can come up here. So now you will do 7 damage per hit, which means that you should be able to kill this demoness in 3 out of 4. Yeah, there we go. Now you just have to survive the uh, retaliation. I could even stick a poacher out here. I think it might even be worth it. Yeah, this this that 16 experience on this well, is pretty valuable. And it could even be that this quick resilient poacher survives. But I don't mind if it doesn't. Alright, this dude's on one health, that's also cool. Oh, 
up here, the thing I just want to continue to hold. Oh, don't kill it. No! That was close. Okay, so, um, purple's only recruited rubbish, um, black hardly has any units left. Black could have been smarter there, and I now, um, black's, black's definitely running out of units. Um, Anya is running out of health. It's not her favorite time of day either. Maybe I can swap Elinia, swap her out and put Elinia in that spot. You guys can barely reach the fight. You want to come back down from your village? I could put Anya up there. Actually, I could put Anya in any village. So Elinia, you come over here, and this sprite also needs to get out of the battle. Oh, I can stick Durban here. That would be uh, good use of resources. Doesn't get a kill. Mm, wouldn't particularly expect him to there. Um, you pop back. Okay, you're doing well. And then down here, oh, this is where a leadership unit comes in handy. Though with my chaotic defenders here, it actually just makes them less than completely useless. Am I going to leave you there? You probably will die if I do that. Not sure I want you to survive, but then again, I would like someone to kill this guy. Anyone who goes out there is likely to die. But what would if you sit there? You're strong and resilient, you could even make it. You go there. You come back here. You'll be in position to heal Alinea. Might as well get an extra few attacks in on you. With an expendable unit. Okay, 10 3 magical. Can't get the kill versus 10 4 slow stun. Also can't get the kill. Uh, I'm gonna go for the slow stun. These guys are scary. Alright. Do 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 do. Do you wanna do anything? Just get into a position where you can fight anything you need to fight. Um, no more skirmishes around. Um, black player only has one, two, three, four units left on the front lines. Green player is also looking like heavily weakened. So this is good. Should have recruited more sprites. They're absolutely beastly during the day. Ah! And my strong, resilient poacher survives. Oh, 
Okay, my lines are starting to show some wear and tear. Purple's assault, such as it is, comes in for real. Ah, oh, Black's recruited another unit. Elinia seems to have lost her staff attack, and instead she's got a fairy touch magical attack that uh, does less damage. Alright, now it's night time, now I need to be a bit more cautious. No luck there. If you can get a kill, you'll go up a level. No, you won't, though. No. That was pretty poor. You hop back. Maybe you can get the kill. Three hits. Good, and now you've got plenty of experience. As long as no one comes and uh, one-shots you next turn, it should be alright. You go somewhere where you can get healing. You go somewhere where you can uncontroversially deal damage. Delinear. Park here with my thug. You come back to the healing spot. Impact is very weak against these guys. You can. Oh, that's annoying. You two are too slow though, so... Ah, some luck! Excellent! First of Purple's units to go down, I think. Have I lost anyone yet? Yeah, I lost a thug. Alright. You move up here. If anyone wants to fight a ruffian, they are more than welcome. I hired these guys to serve as fodder and they haven't done anything at all yet. Haven't even fought anything yet. Anyone else need health? No, looks fine. Okay, starting to worry a bit more because it's dusk and the long night is coming. But I think I've killed enough units so that it won't be too much of a threat. Green is not being smart, or lucky. Green is also blocking purple, which is which is great, really. And my slightly experienced poacher is not going to die, in fact. What was that explosion? The volcano? No, it was much farther from this region. Okay, um, yep, I'm a bit uh, salty that I lost this uh, poach, this footpad down here. That was kind of unlucky, especially to Black, who's, who's almost dead anyway. Um, but, you know. Swings and roundabouts. Uh, 
Nice work from you. Durvin just needs to attack someone and he'll go and gain a level. Um, so who's the most annoying person around here? Maybe the most annoying people are up in the north, actually. Um, maybe down here I don't need to worry so much. It'd be nice if I could level you up. just too weak and squishy to be on the front lines at any point. So let's try it with you. All right, you instantly get the kill. Well, I can uh, I can appreciate that. Do you want to swap places with Durvan? Probably not, but uh, it's what I need you to do. Alright, first things first, let's get this drone out of the way. And then uh, good old Anya is pretty good at that. I would like to kill you, your experienced. Quite a kill from you. Pretty feeble performance there from Durvan, but he only needed to hit. Yeah! Okay, now everyone's going to target you because you're experienced. Um. Doop -a -doop -a -doo, doop -a -doop -a um you want to come out here and slash? I guess you probably won't get killed. So you might if you do something dumb. What about you first? Okay, that's cool. Now you can hopefully get the kill. And if you stand behind her... Oh no, she still can't quite one-shot him. But I've got my first fire fairy. Elenia continues with her trend of missing most things. Up here things are not looking strong. Down there, take some damage. And I'm just hoping this sprite will be able to survive. You stand there. If anyone really wants to attack you, they can. You need health, you need health. Okay, I think this is reasonably non terrible. Um, uh, a bit worried about you. You will probably come and zap my fire fairy. But then you shouldn't be able to one-shot it. <laughs> oh no, but purple's gonna kill you. Yeah, there we go. Tragic. Still, outlaws are pretty useless, so... Oh, my ruffian survived! P 
The explosion definitely came from Ralphin. There's an enormous cloud of smoke coming from that direction. This... I suppose this explains why I couldn't contact Phelan yesterday. Uh-oh. Who did the general leave behind? A razor man. Okay, we've got plenty of those guys. Um, the enemy forces are looking very, very sparse. We got two black, both wounded. Um, three green, all wounded. Four purple imps, two of which are wounded. So yeah, no great concern. Let's see how many of these things we can kill. Wow, you've got 23 of 38 health and 23 of 38 experience. Interesting. Not quite. So then you go here and get yourself killed. hopefully do this. Yep, just about. Now things are looking pretty rosy. They always sound so aggrieved. <laughs> Oh, it's not fair! <laughs> You're still alive, but you can barely do anything useful. and probably will try and kill this guy. Both Anya and Elinia inclined to be useless today. As are all my poachers. Okay, can anyone do this? Come on, Ruffian! Yeah! Okay. Well, there's the MVP. you're slightly less likely to get killed by the imp next turn. Actually, I kind of want you to get killed by the imp next turn. And now you almost certainly will, so let's have you go back to the village to get pointless healing. And let's see, hopefully I'll, get, I'll lose two level one units next turn. And my income will go up. No. No. Didn't lose anyone. Well, I guess my income is going to still suck for another few turns. All right, best start moving on the uh, on Marauder of Renmark. I think I can kill you first. Um, now the hardest to kill is going to be probably this grunt up here. So I feel like I should loop round 
Maybe I can try and kill both at once. Maybe I can just send my heroes up north and they can deal with the big bad up there. Elenia hasn't killed anything recently, and if she did, she would be close to another level. <clears throat> but um, the elves should be able to... Durvan and the elves should be able to take care of this guy. Move them out in that direction. If you want to come fight Durban, you're welcome to try. Who needs healing? You need healing. No one can reach you. You could do with some healing. As could you. Maybe a better person to lure you out with would be this elvish fighter. I don't think that's someone you can kill in one hit. But I'll put you there in case it's a more tempting target. And you can go there. You can come here. And you... can just hop back onto this village. If you're going to survive, you might as well survive properly. You're too slow. Put you there, ready to get a kill. Uh. Okay, am I going to have to leave it to my hero ruffian once again? Looks like it. It's too much for the hero ruffian. What about the non-hero ruffian? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Could just leave you guys here. <laughs> yeah, you go over here, get ready to fight Mr. Renmark. And Linear and Anya are going to go north. It would be nice if you came out to fight. So I can put Anya on this square so that you don't get any decent terrain against her. Okay, finally one of my ruffians manages to do some good. Renmark is not going to take the bait. Oh, such good bait as well. Druid gets the kill in the end. Maybe Renmark will be more tempted now. But basically don't want Renmark attacking the Druid, anyone else is fair game. This demon is going to get roasty toasted. Who's going to start the proceedings? Um, you might still move north. You're not going to be needed to kill Renmark. Same with you. Actually, you just hop up behind the druid. You can get some more health. And you'll be nearer to the action. is still alive, just. Oh. 
Very nice. That leaves this demon on one health. I'm going to use you to get the kill because, first of all, fire fairies are more useful than trappers are. Secondly, trappers, well, you can get that house if you don't become a trapper, so that's cool. Alright, you guys press on. Could grab another village, or could keep. Let's see how you how well you do, Anya. Perfectly well. All right. The linear goes over here. Yeah, surely you're going to come out now. Javelining an undefended thug in the back. That is a low blow. Okay, can anyone reach these villages? I'm going to send Nalan, uh, his loyal and dexterous, to go and uh, do some village grabbing. Durvan, you do some slowing. Oh. Cool, you're on 14 health. I could even potentially kill you with my druid. But no, that never works. Alright, is it time for a poacher yet? Is it time for a um, a trapper yet? Now you're the best option for a trapper. Oh, you're all close! But strong and resilient is going to be cool if I can get it to work. Nope, you've just not got the mojo. You're also strong and resilient. Ah, uh, yes, you can kill me now, but at the end of the day... I'm not sure what that guy's point was. <laughs> Alright, let's get people into a position to heal. And this army can gradually advance on the green leader. Can already bait out, hopefully bait this demon into coming out and fighting me. Um, with Nolia the sprite as backup. You get a bit more health, you get a bit more health. You can go and grab that village. You run up behind. You run up behind. You run up behind. And then we're good. Come on, Elenia's really, really... I mean, she must just be cut up about this whole situation still. Alright, that's a job for Anya. And this level 2 Demon Grunt shouldn't be too much of a problem for these heroes together on full health, which they will be next turn. Take that extra two damage. Leadership, yeah! Okay, my income's looking decent. You're not fast enough. You're not fast enough. You're not fast enough. Well, you didn't get yourself killed. 
Maybe you could even lure the leader out. I don't want a quick resilient poacher in my forces particularly. For, but no matter. Pretty much all of you are going to, at the end of the day, end up suiciding yourselves onto the Razorman, probably, to get his health down, so it doesn't matter what precise strat you choose. Let's get in there. enough to reach the base, you're also not fast enough to reach that village. Hopefully he won't recruit and block that spot next turn. And he hasn't recruited for a while, so he probably will. No? Alright. You creatures! Dra! Okay. Um, I could start going for the shielding, I guess. Um, fairy fire, though. Now, now that my fairy fire attacks, you know, I always imagine Alinea doing more damage. So I'm gonna go for fairy fire and uh, see if she can see if she can also deal the damage as well as taking it. All right, Anya, you do what you do best. Go onto a village, and next turn you can be wherever you like. the village. What happens if you melee attack him? He won't die horribly. And now he's trapped so I can move everyone up safely, including Durvan who's going to be the key to victory here. and uh, hopefully next turn Anya can just pop out and do the damage. All that's left is the enemy boss. And we've got 13 turns left. Well, yep, I saw that one coming. Alinea, you come and join us, but slowly. Not too bad. Oh, 
This is an po- uh. Elenia? Can I talk to you for a moment? You mean... Well, yes, of course. We found a witness. He claim as a demon and a fairy were amongst the many victims of a number of mechanical birds who descended from the sky, killing and devouring everyone in their path, making sure to leave no whole corpses behind. Aloran and Tara. I understand. Why? Why did it have to end like this? Just when I thought we had a chance to rally demon kind against Uriel. Elenia? Yes? What are we going to do now? I don't know anymore. If Ralphin has fallen, then all hope is lost. The Chaos Empire has won the war, and Uriah is now able to do whatever she wants with Ertia, and her next target with that artifact in her possession. We might be able to survive the upcoming onslaught for a while, if we go back with Onarie, assuming they haven't also been crushed by those relentless hordes coming out of damned nowhere. What if we left the Grain Continent instead? The elves in Zothanar Isle told us their merfolk allies had evidence that only the Great Northern Ice Plains remain besides this continent. We would quickly perish there, so that's not an option. And what would the point be if Uriah presumably has the power to destroy Edia itself? You aren't suggesting we just sit here and do nothing, are you? I... Guess I am. Elenia, please, just let's go back to Ralthin. To see more of this? Do you really want to see more senseless destruction? Do you really want me to lead you to another devastated battlefield littered with dismembered corpses? I feel this is not over yet. Let's go back, please. Okay, 114 bonus gold. Um, doesn't seem a huge amount, but then again, there's not much in the way of early finish bonus on this map because the number of villages on the on the map isn't isn't that large. Um, okay, so this was good. We lost a few units. We lost a couple of footpads, poacher, and thug. That's predictable. We've got a captain, a fire, two fire fairies, and a trapper. That captain is um, is particularly cool. Um, I was kind of hoping that uh, Fire Fairy would miss with its last attack so I could give it feed the experience to my druid. Um, all right, so everyone here is everyone's done a pretty grand job, really. I'm really proud of all of you. Um, twenty eight out of eighty. Um, yeah, the, no one no one here didn't pull their weight, really. All right. End of video. Please leave a like or a comment and join me again next time for scenario two.